Now, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about clusters. Clusters are a way of encapsulating many different grasshopper elements into one um, and kind of treating it those operations themselves as an element. It's kind of a meta way of uh, looking at things. And it's much, much easier explained than described, uh, kind of showed than described. So let's get started. So by now you've probably done enough Grasshopper to understand the basic kind of philosophy or the underlying logic of Grasshopper, which is a flow-based programming language, um, not kind of linear or text-based coding language. So you have a piece of geometry and you have a little node that represents it in Grasshopper, and then, then you can do operations to it. So you take this and plug it into the divide curve, fun uh, curve function and divide it into a few pieces. Maybe you want to vary the number of pieces it's divided into. That's great. And so you get a series of points. Maybe you want circles around those points. So you say, okay, great, I want a circle, a mini circles. And then you can also vary the radius of those circles. Excellent. Now, and then, you know, you can have a eventual output. Now, you know, you, you what we did is in a lot of, like a lot of flow-based programming languages, um, you have uh, an item, you put it into an operation with some other input, do that again, and then you get some output. So you have some geometry or some data and you do something, you do something again and again, and then you get the result, right? You know, so there's kind of like this, this logic or this philosophy, underlying philosophy of the chain is predominant in Grasshopper. That's part of the reason why um, uh, many of the forms or the geometry you see created with Grasshopper are very much continuous. It's because of this flow-based kind of uh, logic of Grasshopper, um, but that's another topic and we'll get into that later. So similarly, you have this chain chaining idea here and the cluster is when you take, say, let's say, you take everything in the middle and encap you encapsulate it within its own item. Um, so if I take everything here and not the first and the last, but just what's in between, I select it and if I click on this thing after middle clicking, I create a cluster. Now a cluster is, uh, you know, kind of, it looks simple. It's like this own item and I can rename it and say, oh, this is the uh, line circles along line, for, for example. Now I can double click on it and you see this box has opened. I've opened the cluster and I've gone into what the cluster is. Excellent. And this is an input and this divides uh, the curve, you know, you've, we, we just did this, you've seen all of this, and this creates circles around those points, and then we output it. You know, we can change the radius of the circles, change the number of divisions, etc. So let's say I want the circles to be super big. If I click on this and say save and close, then, you know, this change has been affected here. And the fun thing about uh, clusters is they're not just an organizational mechanism, even though it's very clean to just have this here instead of all the other stuff. If I copy and paste this, and let's say I have another line that's represented by another piece of geometry, I can plug that into here, right, and do the same operation on that line and get another output. Now the thing about the clusters is that these two items are linked. Um, they're instances of each other or of the same thing. And if you highlight your mouse over it, or you, you can see it says this cluster occurs twice in this document. So what that means is, let's say I want, um, I go into the cluster, I want my circles to be narrower and more numerous. I save and close. This other one will update um, accordingly. So that means, let's say you can have a lot of clusters of a certain thing scattered across a given document or a given Grasshopper script um, doing the same operation. And if you change one inside one of them, all of them changes. You know, no more copy and pasting, no more kind of editing everything. This means, this makes your life way easier. Um, so that's kind of the basic idea of a cluster. 